Let's review the fundamentals of Ethernet LANs with questions and answers section part 1. Which of the following are true about the Ethernet address? It is 32 bits. It is 48 bits. The first three bytes is called OUI and is to identify the manufacturer. The first three bytes is called OUI and is to identify the network cost. It is called hardware address. It is called MAC address. To answer this question, you need to remember that Ethernet address is also called MAC address and it has six bytes and one byte equal to eight bits, so it is 48 bits. The first three bytes is called OUI and is to identify the manufacturer. The last three bytes is to identify the network cost. So the answer is A, C, and F. You can find more detailed explanation for this question in the video MAC address. Which of the following statements are true about the cables used in this network? The cable from PC1 to switch is a crossover cable. The cable from PC2 to hub is a straight through cable. The cable from switch to hub is a crossover cable. The cable from switch to hub is a straight through cable. The cable from router R1 to switch is a straight through cable. The cable from router R1 to hub is a rollover cable. To answer this question, we need to remember this table. Basically, there are two groups. Group 1 contains PC, router, and wireless access point. Group 2 contains hub and switch. If you connect devices in the same group, use crossover cable. If you connect devices in different groups, use straight through cable. So these are the straight through cable and this is a crossover cable. Get back to our question. So the answer is B, C and E. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video Types of UTP Cables Which of the following are true about CSMA CD? It stands for Collision Since Multiple Access with Carrier Detection It stands for Carrier Since Multiple Access with Collision Detection Collision can happen, but the algorithm removes it. The algorithm defines how the computer should notice a collision and how to recover. None of the other answers is correct. So, CSMA CD stands for Carrier Since Multiple Access with Collision Detection and the algorithm defines how the computer should notice a collision and how to recover. So the answer is B and D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video Sending Ethernet Frames. What types of MAC addresses that can be used to send one frame that is delivered to multiple devices on the LAN. Unicast address. It is a type of MAC address that represents a single computer. So if a frame sent to a unicast address, a single computer will receive it. Multicast address. It is a type of MAC address that represents a group of computers. So if a frame sent to a multicast address, a group of computers will receive it. 
any cast address is actually not a type of MAC address. It is a type of IP version 6 that is used to send to the nearest computer. Broadcast address. It is a type of MAC address that represents all the computers in a VLAN. So if a frame sent to a broadcast address, all the computers in a VLAN will receive it. None of the other answers is correct. So the answer for this question are B and D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video MAC address. Which of the following is true about Ethernet crossover 100 base T? Pin 1 and 2 are the same on both ends of the cable. Pin 1 and 3 on one end of the cable connect to pin 2 and 6 on the other end of the cable. Pin 1 and 2 on one end of the cable connect to pin 5 and 6 on the other end of the cable. Pin 3 and 6 are the same on both ends of the cable. None of the other answers is correct. To answer this question, we need to remember the cable pin out for Ethernet crossover 100 base T like this. So the rule is pin 1 and 2 on one end of the cable connect to pin 3 and 6 on the other end of the cable. So for this question, none of the other answer is correct. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video, Types of UTP Cables. What are the advantages of using multi-mode fiber cable? To achieve the longest distance possible for that single link, to extend the link beyond 100 meters while keeping the initial cost as low as possible. To make use of existing laser-based SFP or SFP Plus module. To make use of existing LED-based SFP or SFP Plus modules. So multi-mode fiber cable is not a type of cable that has longest distance. The one that has longest distance is single mode fiber cable. However, multi mode fiber cable can extend the link beyond 100 meters, which is a limitation of UTP cable, and it uses LED based SFP or SFP plus module. So the answer is B and D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video Fiber Cable.